Welcome to the Inner Princess Fox Hunt Guide to the latest DLC course, Atlantis. This particular hunt to unlock the Atlantis putter is looking for pearls hidden around the course by the merfolk. So with 14 clues to find, let's start as ever at hole number one with the very first clue. Welcome to Fair Atlantis. The merfolk have hidden pearls all over the sunken city for you. Are you ready to hunt for them? Start at the temple atop hole 18. So just where we see the tea box for hole 18, we have this temple. And if we teleport inside there, we can see the next pearl. The blessing of the water bearer. And we have a picture clue. So this is one of the many statues dotted around the course. This one could be found on hole number nine. If we teleport in front of the statue and we see she is holding the water urn and down at her feet, as per the picture, is the next pearl. The protection of Poseidon. Another picture clue, and this time we have the hand of Poseidon and inside it should be the pearl. The hand can be found over on hole number six. So if you teleport there and inside Poseidon's hand, just underneath the cocktail he's holding, is the next pearl. A proud city at the edge of the sea. Another picture clue, and this time we are looking at the ruins, which we can see next to us there. And there is a gap at the top that we're looking for. You can teleport to here if you don't want to fly. So when you're on the top level, just in that gap, way above Atlantis is the Pearl. Known for leisure, wine and music. So we're looking for one of the benches dotted around the course. We're looking for a wine urn and also the Cathara. So again, if we go down to hole number nine, where we found one of the earlier pearls, there is a bench next to the T. There is the urn, there's the Cathara, and next to it, as per the picture, is the pearl. But their vision was clouded by jealousy. Now, if you've jumped here for clue number six, welcome to the video. I expected this was the one that brought you here. This is a difficult picture clue, and we are looking for an archway seen through a gap. So from giant view, if you look beyond hole 14, there is an archway there. And as I'm standing, if I crouch down and look through here, you can see the archway is visible. So that forms the gap in the picture. If we go inside that tunnel, there we can see the picture completed, and there is the pearl. They close themselves to the world. So we are looking for one of these five pillar platforms. And if we turn right from giant mode at the start and teleport on top of it, there is the next pearl. An oracle silenced. For this one, we're looking for a pearl on top of a little platform that holds a sounding horn. And you'll need to go at the highest point here in the map and if you teleport to the top, if you don't like flying, you'll see just on the other side, wave to the fish, is our next pearl. The Wrath of the Gods. So this one looks like it's underneath Poseidon's foot. Now, if you didn't know, there is actually a full Poseidon in this course. So there is the head at that end. So if we follow it downwards, the feet should be that side. From Giant View, send yourself all the way down to the left-hand side and you'll arrive by the foot. Now, if I fly up, I can show you the layout here. You've got the feet, follow that up to the knees and the legs. There's his main body that forms one of the holes over to his head and there's his hand that we saw earlier. So anyway, by his left foot is the next pearl. The earth cracked and fell. Another picture clue and another of the hardest ones in this fox hunt. So we're looking for a crack in rocks and the pearl's going to be at the top there. And the earth part of it points you towards this globe type ceiling that's broken. If you teleport just to the other side, you will see the next pearl there. A once thriving city now sunken and broken. So we're looking for a small doorway and a couple of broken pillars by it. Over on the right hand side, beyond hole 11, you can see the doorway there. If you teleport over, the pearl is right at the opening. Wow. 
Human ingenuity is pretense. For this one, we are going inside hole number seven. And just as we've been in here for the lost balls, this time we're looking for a pearl. And if you look carefully at the diagram, you can see that sun-like pearl symbol is on the left-hand side. So walk along and inside one of these, you will see our next clue. The mermaids will triumph. So we're looking for the big mermaid statue, which we see towards the end of the course over by hole 17. And because the pearl is at the base, we will teleport down there. There is the mermaid statue and there is our final pearl. Congratulations, you solved the mermaid's tail fox hunt and have been rewarded with the lost putter of Atlantis. And so here is our Atlantis themed putter with the pearl and the trident fork at the end. This one, I particularly love what's at the end of the fork, so we'll give it a quick try on hole, let's say number 10. And when it comes to life, you see it's a piece of salmon on the end of the trident fork, which I think is really cool. So we'll give this one a try as is tradition and we should get a hole in one first time. Second time, sorry. Okay, so hole in ones are kind of overrated. We'll go for a hole in three. That's a far more prestigious accolade and we can see the putter works fine. So thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you. Probably clue number six uh, was the one that brought the most people here. If that was the one, please leave me a comment down below so I know which one you found most difficult. Please leave a like if I have guided you to any of these and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you'd like to stay informed of future content. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you out on the course soon.